Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here, and in this video I will be talking about some React concepts. So I will be talking about how to handle user input uh, with some forms as well as filtering through some uh, data. So what we're going to build out here is we're going to have a little search box here. And currently we have some uh, cards with some information on it. So it's basically uh, they're supposed to be uh, dog cards, so it has a name and a breed. And so all we're going to do is we're going to take the search box and we're going to search for a specific uh, dog. So if I type in uh, S, it'll filter out for uh, the dog cards that start with S. And then if I go P, it'll filter out the specific card that I want. So if I do M, we'll get Max or George. So do J, uh, sorry, G, E, O, we'll get George. So that's what we'll be uh, building out. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is the layout of our application. So basically we're going to have our app component, which will be the parent component, as well as uh, this component will also contain the state and all the functionality that our app will need. <coughs> and, <coughs> and so this app component will render out a, a search box component, and it'll also render out a dog list component. And the search box component will just be the uh, search box. The dog list will uh, be a component that will basically render out a list of individual dog components. And so, so with our app component, the app component will contain the state. So in that state, we'll have all the dog data. And basically what will happen is we're going to pass down that data as props to the dog list component. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that dog list component will take that dog data and it will uh, iterate through that data. And uh, for each dog uh, that it iterates through, it'll basically render out a dog uh, component. <clears throat> and so, and for our search box from our app component, we will basically be passing down some functionality uh, to handle the user input. So we'll be passing down some met a method as props to the search box so that we can basically uh, make use of the user input functionality that we'll need to update the state. And so we'll get more into that once we dive into the code. So let's get into it here. So let's go to Visual Studio. And uh, currently I have um, everything set up here. So here's our app component and all it's rendering out is a title. I have the dog list component uh, set up here. It's currently not uh, rendering anything out, just an empty div. Same thing for the dog. Uh, well, the dog component has some styling to the div, but it's not rendering out anything right now. And we also have the search box, which is also empty. And so let's first, let's see. So first we'll start with the, let's see. So first we'll start with the uh, dog list. So. We know that our app component will be rendering out a dog list component, so I'll just go ahead and type that out, dog list. <clears throat> okay, and as you can see here in our app component, we currently have uh, the state. So our state contains the dog data that we need. So currently it's a uh, dogs array that contains an array of objects with name and breed properties. And so then what we need to do is we need to <clears throat> basically pass down this data as uh, prop to our dog list component. So to do that, we will just take our dog list component and uh, pass down, let's see, I'll just call it dogs as a prop. <clears throat> and then uh, to pass on the data, I'll need to do this dot state dot dogs. All right, cool. And so now our dog list component is, contains the uh, state that we have from our app component, which is the array of uh, dogs. And now we'll go into our dog list uh, component here. And so we know that we passed down the uh, dog data as props. So remember, um, for this component, all it's going to do is take that dog uh, data and just iterate through that data and render out these individual dog components. <clears throat> so to do that, we will need to, let's see, we'll need to run some JavaScript. So we'll 
have a cr uh, create some curly braces there and what we will do is we will or actually I'm gonna do this so I'm going to create a variable called uh, let's see uh, dogs <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, map through that uh, data that we have so we're going to do props dot dogs dot map and then we'll do dog all right cool so remember uh, props dot dogs uh, comes from our dog list uh, prop here dogs so that's how we're doing props dot dogs there and then we're going to map through it so for each uh, dog in that array we are going to return a dog component and uh, I'm importing this dog component up here so that's why I'm able to do that so we're going to return a dog component and uh, remember our dog uh, component is also going to need some properties which is going to be the name and the breed so we'll just do a name property there and a uh, breed and then we will pass dog dot uh, name and then we'll do dog dot breed all right cool all right so okay so now that we have that so basically dogs this very this dogs variable will be an array of all these uh, dog components so then to render that out, we'll just need to do some curly braces there and then pass in dogs. All right, cool. So now this dog list is rendering out um, multiple uh, dog components there. So now we'll go into our dog component and this dog component will basically just render out the information. So we'll just do a uh, name and then we'll do do some curly braces there and this will be props dot name and then oops, we'll do uh, read and then that will be props dot read all right cool all right so it looks like we have everything we need to essentially render out the uh, all the dog cards so let's go back to our app so parsing error unexpected token expected a comma let's see props dot dogs dot, oh sorry so I let's see so I just wrote some syntax error here I didn't actually uh, write this correctly so this is an arrow function I just forgot to write the arrow all right so now we have our uh, list of dog card components right there so now we'll go ahead and create our search box. Whoops, sorry about that. So we'll go back here and in our search box, this will just be an input. Go back and oh, so I have to go, okay, so I have to go back to our app.js and uh, we are already importing our search box component here. So then all we need to do is in our app component, I'll put it up there, so we'll do it. Uh, search box and now we have a search box all right so we have that finished we currently don't have the uh, filtering functionality so, or the handling user input functionality there so we'll go into that next all right so then in order to uh, handle a user input what we're going to do is in our app.js component, we're going to create a function called handle, let's see, handle input. This will be a function, an arrow function. All right. And this will take in a argument or a parameter, we'll call it E because it'll be an event, which will be the user typing onto the keyboard. So it'll be a keystroke. And then, so every time the user inputs uh, or types into the search box, 
we want to basically update our state in our app.js uh, component. So yeah, so right now we have this search dog uh, property here, which is an empty string. So whenever the user types into that search box, we want to update this property with whatever the user has typed in. And so to do that, we need to make use of this dot set state. And then we will take our search dog property and then we're going to update it with uh, the event which is going to be e and then we need to do dot target dot value so that'll give us the specific uh, key that the user typed into the keyboard okay so now that we have that uh, method defined there what we need to do is we actually need to pass that method down to our search box component so what we will do is we will take our search box and we'll give this a prop called handle input and then we will pass down this dot handle input which is our method and now if we go to our search box component uh, we're going to add a property or an attribute on this input uh, tag so we'll do on change so every time there is a change on this input meaning every time a user types into this input box we want to run a specific uh, method and that method is the method that we created so we pass that method down as props to our search box so we'll do props dot handle input and let's see here all right cool and, so i think that should work now so let me see if i can console.log e.target.value so we can see when we're actually um, typing in to the box there so all right cool so if you see there every time we uh type into that input box uh, we are uh, firing that handle input function and currently it's well it's updating the state but we also have a console.log in there so that we can see us so that we can see the change that's happening there so cool and uh, also let me do something real quick here uh, let me add a key since we are iterating through a list and rendering out a component we need to pass a key to the uh, item that we are rendering out so I just do I do that save that that way we don't get an error here cool all right and so then now that we have the uh, so now that we are updating the state every time we type into the search box what we want to do is we want to make sure we filter out uh, the dog cards based off what we're typing into the search box and so let's see to do that what we need to do is let's see all right so inside of my uh, render method I'm going to create a let's see a variable called filtered dogs and this will be the um, this will basically contain all the dogs that we need to filter for based off what the user types into that search box so then now what we'll do is we'll take filtered dogs and we're going to let's see we're going to take this dot state dot dogs and then we're going to make use of the filter function and we'll do that All right, cool. So then we're going to uh, filter through our uh, dog data and we're going to return uh, a specific uh, dog uh, card based off what the user has typed in. So then what we need to do is we need to do, uh, let's see, some, t some sort of condition. So then we'll do return dog dot let's 
C name dot to lowercase. Oops. Dog dot name dot to lower. Okay, there you go. Oops. And then we'll do dot includes. And then we'll do, let's see, so we'll do this dot state dot search dog. All right, so basically what we're doing is we're taking the uh, dog data and we're filtering through and we're checking to see if the search dog string uh, can, is included inside one of these uh, names. So if you see here, we're taking the name for whatever dog we're currently on and we're converting it to lowercase. And then we're checking if uh, the search dog string is included inside that particular uh, dog name that we're currently on. And so if, like, let's say this was an M, if uh, the current dog that we're on is Max, if M is included inside that name, then we're going to go ahead and return that uh, dog. If it's not, then we won't return it, essentially. And so now what we need to do is we're going to take this variable called filter dogs. And instead of passing dogs here, we'll pass in filter dogs. Do that. And then we'll change this to filter dogs. And so this property name, this property name can be anything. Uh, I'm just calling it filter dogs. So if this looks kind of weird, just know that you can name this whatever you want. But in here, this has to actually be a variable or some type of uh, function that's already defined. So the property name is filter dogs. We're passing in this variable filter dogs. And then if we'll go back to our dog list and we'll just make sure that filtered dogs is uh, properly named. So that looks good. And if we go here, it looks like that works. Sparky, there we go. SP, all right, cool. So, yeah, so, yep, so that's basically the uh, application there. So hopefully you guys uh, learned something, uh, how to handle user inputs and passing down state and filtering. So if you guys found this video useful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.